Hey yo, welcome to another another episode of Becoming a Techno Wizard. And sheesh, this is why being a designer is like so humbling. Get your whole stuff just smashed in. You got to just accept it because you ain't right. You know, it's about the other people. It's about the users, the customers, the audience, you know. And um, this is why I wanted to freaking do my portfolio as a usability test, as a actual design project, where I went through the design process. Because when I had to come up with things out of my own brain, like from end to end, I go for the, the rafters. I go for the, 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 the stars, right? <laughs> uh, that's, how I, that's how I naturally think. And so... <sighs> getting smashed like that where you have like your ambitions you put all your hopes and dreams into a design and just get smacked around you know it, 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 it hurts so much more than if you were going through a process of expecting to not like if i went in the beginning of the process expecting like fully expecting that my ideas weren't you know important right like if i started this out knowing that Hey, I'm not building what I want to build. I'm I'm building what other people want to build. And that's fine. I love that. That's like the magic in design. Like I love building what other people want. But when I'm building something that I want to build, I'm going to take certain certain uh I'm going to allow myself to I'm going to you know, allow myself to just explore, right? To be different and to be super unique and weird. Because that's who I am. I'm a weird person. Like <laughs> this whole series is called being a being a techno wizard. Like what the hell is that? That's what I do. That's that's what I enjoy, you know. So when I'm coming up with something for myself, personal brand, I'm exploring the weird, you know. I'm letting I'm I'm letting myself, you know, enjoy that part of myself. So <sighs> it sucks so much, but at least it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, to be honest with you. Like I said last time, I was worried like the entire board would just be like stupid. Like they wouldn't like it at all. My instructor would be like, oh, go back and redo this whole thing. But I said all that. <laughs> and really the biggest problem was the fonts. And I mean, I said all that just now, but I don't really care about fonts too much. Like the whole reason why I chose these fonts that I had is because I know nothing about fonts. So I had to pause, I'll pause the video, but um, yeah, like fonts aren't super important to me, but nonetheless, I did spend a lot of time coming up with these fonts and or finding these fonts because they were part of my quirk, you know, um, and they're still important to an extent. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what what's the what here. Oh, and the bigger the bigger thing that probably hit me hard though is like my uh storyline like my whole storyline i read to y'all before didn't like that either so gonna have to redo that whole thing and it's quite unfortunate and i was getting real into it too i was reading i was like man this is this would be a dope book i want to i want to read this book <laughs> oh man but yeah so as you call as you all recall it had like three fonts the display font unfortunately and i was fine i was trying to find the most readable you know usable like i talked about this last time i was trying to find fonts out of all these futuristic and sci-fi fonts that are more the most readable and unfortunately this was not it apparently like the call to action stuff like that and wisdom he had a problem with wisdom and this is like the best font out of all the fantasy fonts like low case capital case all that was like you know readable but he said um Apparently, all caps is not a good like a good thing. It's not like as readable as you would as you would expect. All caps is kind of frowned upon in some circles. So, um, so that's why I was exploring like um, mixed case or whatever you call this, and then sentence sentence case um, doesn't look as as attention grabbing. I don't know. I was reading up on it as well, and it was saying like all caps reduces, you know, reading speed by as much as twenty percent um, for some people, and you know, uh, mixed case is kind of confusing for some people as well. So, you know, sentence case is usually best for pretty much any use case, 
um, except for if you're using, you know, all caps for specific like buttons or navigation or something like that. So that is interesting. Um, but I think when I start creating the portfolio, it'll make more sense and um, I can really test to see, you know, if this font is really a, a problem. Um, but man, I'm, it just got me a little bit frustrated because I'm like, if I have to use like just regular fonts and what's the, what's the point? Like, what's the point of this being my brand, right? Like, I don't care about like using regular fonts is boring to me. Like, it's so boring. So I'm like, I might even, it isn't even my brand anymore, right? But then again, he didn't really say anything about the overall design. So <laughs> uh, that's the good part. Um, and he didn't even say anything bad about it. Uh, so, um, so playing around with, you know, what the website will look like with the whole 3D thing, and maybe I can have boring, boring font. But, you know, once again, the, the 3D aspect of it will be the calling card of the entire website. So maybe, maybe that's, uh, you know, a good thing. And then what I say, uh, same thing for the story. I try to have, you know, this, like, telling a story here based on the hero heroic, uh, um, you know, I forgot what it's called, the heroic story. What is it called? This is really irking me. I spelled that wrong. Sheesh. What's the name for this? The Hero's Journey. Is that really it? It's as simple as that. Hero's Journey. The Journey. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, Elijah. But yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I like this story. You know, I'm reading through this, and oh no, this is. I yeah, I read it a little bit more. I was like, man, it, it sounds like a, a a cool freaking book. Like, I would read this book. Like, these chapter headings are interesting to me. And so, for me, the purpose of this is to draw your attention to be like, hey, what's what's that? You know, what is it, what's it talking about? To draw that curiosity. You know, that was like kind of the point to it. Maybe I'll explain that again because I need to explain that part. Um, but I don't know. I'll test it out. I'm going to test it out with real customers. I'm going to do both with like a boring copy and boring headers and all that stuff and uh, see which one is actually more interesting to people. See which one is more readable, usable and stuff like that. Because I do feel like there's a, a big, a big kind of, like he mentioned that this will turn some people off. Like this might attract other people, but this will also turn other people off. Like, you know, some people will see this as like um, unattractive or 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 um, amateurish, maybe even or something like that. So, but my thing is like the whole. The, what I was thinking about the whole time is like, do I really care about those people though? Like, if the if a person reads something like this and it's like, oh, this I don't want to hire this designer. Do I really want to work for that person? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's a kind of a calculus now that I have to consider. It's like, I have certain values that I want to, you know, um, put forth in my professional aspect. And um, I really do want to become a designer, but I really want to, I, I really don't want to become a designer in like a boring, like in a place that bores me. Like, so to me, I have to consider, like, will this throw off the people that I actually want to read it? Like I want to work for people who who have that sense of whimsy, who have that sense of, you know, who don't take themselves too seriously, who are at the same time ambitious, you know. Um, so I wonder, will this turn those people off? I don't know. Do those people exist? I might just, I might just living a fantasy here and thinking that there are people who who will enjoy this sort of thing and that they would want to hire me, right? <laughs> I don't know, but um. I'm going to go ahead and do a boring one, do a more reserved, more conservative approach and see how that turns out. Um, but yeah, that's that. Keeping it short. Just wanted to share my uh, frustration. <laughs> um, but it's good. You know, all feedback is good feedback. Um, 
at least as a, a, a designer when you're working with other, other, you know, people who know what they're talking about. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see what that looks like. And, um, yeah, the only other thing I really did here um, is add all these exclamations. And so I'm going to, for, so for the second pass of this version, I'm both going to make a more conservative uh, headers here, as well as cut down on all these, you know, things. Because this is 21 pages. This is probably going to be like a 10, 20, no, probably 20, 25 minute read. And I have to cut this down to um, five to eight minute read. So it's a lot I got to cut down. So <sighs> that's what's the next, that's the next step here. And um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And uh, just let me know what you think. Anybody seeing this and whether or not this is a, you know, a problem. Like, am I living in a fantasy here, or are there people that you know really appreciate this 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 sort of non-conservative, this non-contrarian approach, this contrarian approach? Yeah. But yeah, let me know and uh, have a good day. See ya. Bye bye.